Welcome to another Tiny Topic. Today, I'm talking a little bit about school placements versus private practice. So, I we've talked on the blog before about how there are lots of different settings for speech language therapy. And two of the really big ones, especially for our older kiddos, are private practice and school-based services. So, a lot of families come to us and they say, hey, we had an evaluation at the school and... They did some testing and they found that she can't produce these sounds, but they're not giving us any services. Uh, or you might hear someone say, oh, you know, they did this testing and they found that um, she did score low on a few things, but they said it didn't impact her academics, so they're not going to pick her up. So this is because schools base their services on what we call FAPE, free appropriate public education. So it entitles children with disabilities to have certain services based on whether or not it impacts their ability to access education. If it's beyond what is free and appropriate to access education, they will not qualify you in the school system. It does not mean you don't have a disability. It also does not mean you wouldn't benefit from speech therapy or services in general. It is because these are free services and there is a there are rules governing who can qualify, and um, that's what the school's IEP process is really all about. Um, now, does this work perfectly all the time? No. Um, I think there are lots of times I see a kid come in, and I look at the testing, and I look at it, and I go, how is this not impacting their academics? Of course it's impacting their academics. <sighs> but it's not a perfect system. So what private can do for that is that we can take that evaluation and we can start services using that evaluation. We could also provide further testing through the IEE process and do an outside evaluation that covers maybe maybe they didn't look at higher level language, maybe they did a cursory look at speech production but they didn't look at detail, maybe they didn't look at social pragmatic and social communication. We can do further testing to augment what they did in the school and you as a parent have the right to bring that to a meeting and have them review and see if they can qualify based on the additional testing. Um, so there, there are, there is a role to continue kind of a, a working together almost. I don't know if the school would agree with calling it working together, but I, there, there, there is a almost um, a partnership that can happen where we at private can do more testing to supplement what happened at the school. In the reverse, we can also provide services when the school is not able to qualify, which allows us to support school um, support students who will then go to school and feel more supported and we can work with the SLP or with the teachers there um, if there are things we recommend in the classroom. So that's kind of the way that I think, especially for our older kids, um, the balance between where private and public school services would look like. Um, I do have to say it's not a perfect system. So I, you know, I hope that if you are not getting the services that your child needs in the school system, if you are able to look into private services, that can sometimes be the support your child will need to succeed, even though they've told you at the school system that it's not impacting their academics. Because I think sometimes um, it, it is just, it's just the way that the system works that they, people get that should qualify or would benefit don't qualify. Um, so that's kind of how that system works. And if you have questions, please feel free to drop them below. I will also link to our blog post, which talks a little bit about settings in the speech therapy world.